you know, there's this universal idea that we have free will. Um, I've always used to, I, you know, I really thought that for a while, you know, even as a non-Christian, just like, oh yeah, of course we do. Um, you know, but when you really think about the details of it, there's not much room I can say where we do have free will. Um, I've watched a lot of Sam Harris videos, um, which are great, by the way, on this on this topic. And just thinking about it, I'm just like, wow, there are so many things just out of our control. Um, I, I even went on Yahoo Answers and, oh, those people couldn't be any more ignorant. Of course we have free will. You wrote that question. <laughs> people are so stupid. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely universal among the religious, but it, it's it's not even just that. I'm not even, like, targeting religious people with this video. I mean, it's it's kind of a common thing. You go to anybody, do you have free will? It's like, well, yes, I do. Of course I do. And I, there's just a lot of things in our life that are just are, are just out of our control. So um, let's start with basically, this is going to cover a lot of things. To start with, what about our likes and our dislikes? What about things we like? Um... Are those our choices? Are those in our control? So, I mean, I like, I actually love the movie Back to the Future. Love that movie. I've seen it a billion times. Fucking great. Um, could I choose not to like it? I don't think so. Um, it's just a good movie. It just, every, the, the, the thing about the movie, it just sits well with me. It just, it's just, it sits great with me, you know? Um, you know, I just, but I, I just can't hate it, you know? Um, okay, and then our dislikes. I mean, same thing. You know, I just can't help to fucking hate the Transformers movies. They're just fucking terrible, you know? I mean, it's, it sucks, you know? It's just, they're fucking terrible. I just can't help myself to like them. So, I mean, are those two things my choices? Because if they are my choices, then how come I don't like every movie? I mean, I wish, you know, it doesn't it really suck when you pay money, you sit down, and you waste two hours of your life to go see a movie, and then it ends up sucking? What a waste of your time. What, is it because you chose, you chose to hate it? You chose to dislike it? No, of course not. I mean, so if we had the free will to choose things like movies, like what we like, if we had the free will to choose, then every movie we'd see, we just choose to think it's the greatest fucking movie ever, right? So, I mean, not just, I mean, movies are, uh, let's, let's extend more. Um, places we like, like we like to travel, we like to, we like to hang out with friends, we like to drink coffee and all these things. Are, are these things we necessarily like i mean anything things necessarily choose you know um do we choose do we choose the kind of friends we have per se i mean do we choose to like these people or do is there just something inside of us that sits well with us you know um i mean i mean another thing out of our control when someone walks in a room and you just there's something about them where they dress where they look whatever and you just go i hate that person you know or that person just looks stupid well, why? I mean, wouldn't you like to be able to like everybody? Wouldn't you like to just just like everybody? I mean, you know, just be friendly to everybody, not hate anything. I mean, don't you want to be constantly happy? Yeah, I mean, there's another thing. I mean, happiness, sadness. Why can't we choose those emotions? I mean, these are huge emotions, right? And we can't just switch it off. Um, you know, a guy said the other day that positive is a choice. Happiness is a choice. <sighs> Tell that to kid. Tell that to the kids in Africa. Okay. Tell that to to women in you know Saudi Arabia or something. Yeah. To, just uh, happiness is a choice. I mean, y you know, in, in some aspect, yeah, you can. You know, there's ways you can just not be a fucking asshole. But why are you an asshole in the first place? Something else out of your control came in. Something else pissed you off in your day. Um, I mean, so our likes, dislikes, our emotions. The, a lot of these are just out of our control. I can't even think of situations that are completely in our control. You know. Um, so the, the movies, the TV shows, I mean, yeah, I mean, in, in a sense, um, you know, I, I wish I liked everything, you know, because then I'd be con I wouldn't constantly be bored. I, I mean, I wouldn't be bored. I would never be bored because I like everything, right? And our likes, dislikes, emotions, these are huge things. That covers like 50% of us at least. I mean, our th this affects our lives, you know, uh, everything, you know, where we go, where, what we do, et cetera, based on our likes. Um, like think... Think about a job you hate. You know, if you work a job and you hate, why don't you like it? Why don't you just like it, magically like it? You know, choose to like it. But you can't. You know, and that would be great too. You could just like any job you had. So it wouldn't even matter. You know, it wouldn't even matter what job you got because you'd like it either way. I wish that was the case for me, but fuck. No, I'm really picky. I just, I, you know, I don't want a job I hate. I really want a job I like. You know, but why don't I just choose, right? So, I mean, and this has a huge effect or a like. So, like a job, for instance, right? Um, 
you know, that can affect our mood, a shitty job, a good job that can affect our whole thing, which are also out of control. And having that job, in a sense, is also out of our control, right? Um, getting that job, well, good thing you found the interview, you need, you need the job. Having a job in the first place, out of our control, because we need, we want to survive, right? And why do we want to survive? Also out of our control, we just want to survive. We just, that's it, you know? Um, you know, why, you know, why, same reason you don't choose to just end it, you know, you just want to live. So you need a job to sustain yourself and you can't just magically get the job you like or magically get the job you want. That's out of our control, you know? Um, so, uh, basically, and, and it, a job is, is a huge portion of your life. I mean, that, that completely just is going to, it changes everything where you go, how you get there, when you come home, how you feel, et cetera. And, that, and that's out of your control. I mean, then again, you, okay, well, you can go to college. Okay. You can better yourself and then get a degree so you can end up working at Starbucks. Just kidding. <laughs> um, um, wait, why don't you just get the job you want though? Okay. So you have the degree. Okay. So then now you can get the job you really want, but why do you want that job? Why does, let's say you want to be an architect. Why does that job, why do, why do you want to be an architect? Well, you know, is that, is that something your choice? No. I mean, in a sense, but I mean, it's like you like architect. Well, why do you like doing that? Why, you know, how come I don't like doing it instead of you? Why do you like doing that? You know, why does every architect in the world wanted to be an architect? Why? Do they all just choose that one day? I mean, sure. They chose to go for it, but uh, you know, why, why does that sit well with them as opposed to me, for instance, you know, why, you know, um, so they go to, go to college, they get the job they want. Okay. But let's rewind that for a second. How did they get into college money? Did they just want to have money? They free will chose. I want money in my hand and money appeared. No. How did they get to college? Their parents paid for it. They worked at a shitty little mundane job to pay for college. Who knows? You know, um, but okay, you know, how, you know, it, how do, what if you can't pay for college, you know, out of your control, out of your control right there. And if you can pay for your college, let's say your parents pay for it. Well, good. You got parents who are well equipped enough to pay you for college. Was that your choice? Did you choose your parents? No, born into that. So let's shift to this, where you're born to. This is a huge part. This is like 40%. Where you're born, it completely affects who you are. I mean, if I was born in some, if I was born in North Korea, I would be a completely different person. I'd be worshiping Kim Jong-il. If I was born in Canada, I would have had universal health care. My life would be fucking great. If I was born in America, which I was, I would have to deal with fucking idiot Christians. Fucking people that want you to, uh, I'm stupid. Okay. <laughs> anyway, but that, you know, that affects currently, you know, if I was, if I was born somewhere else, I would be a completely different person because it's my surroundings, everything. I wouldn't be the same person. So your surroundings have huge effects on your choices. Um, you know, so I mean, you can't choose where you're born. You can't choose where, like, you know, where you're born in that place, you know, Canada born in Toronto or another city or whatever, you know, you, you can't choose the city. I mean, you know, born in California, raised in the ghetto or born in California, raised in San Francisco, you know, it, you can't choose that either. And then you can't choose what family you had on the street, on the block or whatever. And then you can't choose what school you went to, which is also another crazy thing that affects you. So these are huge things I'm ta I'm tackling right here. And these are these are all out of your control. I mean these are these are absolutely all out of your control. Completely there's no I mean I don't really see the room for free will. You know, I mean maybe somewhere, <laughs> but the huge parts, the likes, the dislikes, your place, who you are, completely just just out of our control. But let's ignore all that. Let's find something that's universal in a sense. You know, I mean um Things like whatever, let's say you're just born in the fucking woods by yourself. Who knows? What about pain? What about suffering? You know, I have a, I have an ingrown toenail right now. It's pissing me the fuck off. All right. I got to get this shit taken care of. Well, why don't I just not just choose not to have pain? Choose not to feel the pain and then I don't have to deal with, deal with, you know, deal with it, right? Out of our control. And how much does pain affect us? You know, your back hurts. You know, you can't, it's hard to work and it's hard to do things. You know, it slows you down. 
you know, our legs hurt, you know, uh, we're not athletic enough. I mean, obviously there's ways to go, you know, go to the gym, eat healthy, but then again, how do you get the time to go to the gym? Well, luckily you got that job that gives you time, but what if you had no choice and you got the job that can't give you time, you know, to go to the gym. So there's out of our control. Well, you can buy the healthy food. Well, can you afford the healthy food? You know, or you can do all of this. You can go to the gym, you can do everything and you can afford it, everything, but you're just lazy. You know, you're just somehow you're lazy, but why are you lazy? I guess that's your choice too, but wouldn't we all, if we could really choose our destinies, we wouldn't choose to sit on the couch all day, we'd choose to be the fucking greatest person ever, who's fucking buff and good looking and, you know, everything. And here I go again, looks, your looks, how big does your looks affects you, affect you in life? I mean, you are more likely to get around town fucking with good looks. Personality probably will be shit, but, you know, you get around town, you get somewhere in life, you know? You're more likely to get a job that way too. So our looks, also pretty much out of our control. We have plastic surgery, you know, we have ways, you know, to fix it. But I mean, total natural looks. And how do you pay for the plastic surgery? We're going in circles. But I mean, you know, our looks, you know, that is a huge effect on life, how people see us, how people like us. So if you're ugly, you might be treated wrong. You might have a bad life that way. You know, if you're attractive, opposite, you know, out of our control once again. Yeah, I mean, it has a huge effect on our person. I mean, our likes, our dislikes, where we grew up, the people around us, how we look, everything has a huge effect on our personality. And our personality is a big chunk of us, which is what how we act and what we do and who we are and how we treat people, which is where I guess, you know, that's free will, right? Where we, you know, that's where we, oh, well, free will, I choose to do this and this. But why did you choose that? You know, um, why do you want to be an actor? Well, cause you were born in California. You know, why do you, why do you like high hockey? Cause you were born in Canada. You know, um, you know, obviously you don't have to be born in those places, but they're just, they're, everything, just so many things out of our control that affect us and, and shape who we are. Um, uh, here's a little thing I want to touch on, I guess, <laughs> uh, superpowers, but not in superpowers in that sense, but, uh, basically, why can't we just do anything? I mean, if we had free will, let's, I mean, let's say you really believe we have free will. Why can't you fly? Why can't you change the world how you want it to? Why can't you make yourself taller? Why can't you do that? Well, well, I mean, why is there only certain things you can do? Why do you only have limitations? You know, why do, why do you have certain limitations? You can't do whatever you want. Well, you're not a God. Okay. So, you know, I'm, uh, let's say there was a God. Um, he obviously has more free will than us cause he can do whatever the fuck he wants. He can, you know, he can make the sky yellow and whatever. He can just do whatever he wants. You know, he has more things to do. We have limitations. So even if we did have free will, we still have limitations with it. Um, we can't just choose to be the greatest thing ever, you know, back to that. Okay. And here's a big one. Love our crushes, the people we like, this goes back to our likes, dislikes, People we like, love, you know, we may have a crush on a girl, a crush on a guy, both, whatever. This affects us hugely. You know, I mean, the person you end up with, that has a huge shape on life. The person, your, 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 your significant other has a huge shape on your life, right? I mean, it has, it has a huge effect on you. That can change everything. You know, they have a certain schedule that you have to go to or that you have a certain schedule that they have to go to and just so you can live, how you can work your life with them. But why do you what? Why do you like him in the first place? You know, I mean, don't you wish, you know, you could be attracted to every girl or guy? Then who cares? You, you know, I mean, obviously we like, uh, we're attracted to people first before we, you know, discover their personality and stuff. You know, why wouldn't it be great if we could just be attracted to everybody? What if we can choose to just be attracted to everybody and then, you know, <laughs> I mean, that'd be great. And then you could just date whoever you want and you'd be perfectly fine with it because you'd think everybody's attractive. But that's out of our control. Um, I mean, I think when you have a crush on somebody and she, he doesn't like you back. I mean, well, why don't you just switch off the crush then? No, you can't, you can't just turn it off. You know, it takes time, you know, you know, and why you liked him in the first place. It's sort of out of control. They just have certain qualities or they look a certain way that you like. There's something inside of you that likes that, you know, and did you choose that certain self inside of you? Did you? I mean, just like you can't choose your appearance, your race, where you were born, your place, your likes, dislikes. I mean, where's there left for you? And finally, um, one thing, there's something that none of us can escape. I guess this is two things, actually. Uh, something that takes at 
leads to at most eight hours out of our day. So we live, we, we, I, you know, assume we had free will, you know, we live, we do our choices, we go to our job and everything, whatever, but there's something that we are also out of control with and it takes eight hours out of our day. It's sleep, you know, uh, maybe less, maybe more, who knows? Uh, when you go to bed is partially not your choice. Uh, you know, you're tired, you know, you try to stay awake, you use medication to keep yourself awake, but I mean, eventually you're going to have to sleep and that takes eight hours out of our day, you know, give or take eight hours out of our day. So that's 16 hours of awakeness. You know, I, I mean, assume we did have free will. Um, there's just eight hours where we just, we have no free will out of our control. And then you can go to dreams pretty much out of our control, et cetera, et cetera. But I mean, that, that just completely takes us away. You know, we, and we just, there's nothing we can do about it. We, we have to go to sleep. We're tired. Can't control that either. And that takes everything out. And then, you know, what's, I mean, we, so even if we did have free will, we had pure free will. There's eight hours where no, we don't period. Um, and I guess, yeah, I mean, death, you know, that'd be the last thing. Can't choose when we're going to die. Um, I mean, maybe in a certain situation, let's say, you know, you do choose to die because you're in pain going back to this again or because you're suicidal or because just whatever you have to die to save a loved one or you know etc you know but these certain situations did we choose them to come into being you're suicidal uh you've had a bad life maybe because you're not attractive and people treat you wrongly also out of our control so you decide to take your life well is there the choice well it's based on pre you know it's based on pre stuff um, and you know, you're sick, you're in pain. So you want to end your life. Why don't you just choose not to be sick anymore? Why don't you just choose not to feel pain anymore out of our control? I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, like when we're sick, that there, there's something against our free will. And how much does that affect us? Can't just choose to be well. You just got to stay in bed or whatever. You got to do what you got to do to get better. Um, yeah, I mean, so death just ends our life. You know, we just, that's it. You know, in can't, can't choose not to die, you know, can't choose not to die. And you know, and then when you're dead, I know a lot of you believe there's something after life uh, that would be that would be a punishment to me. But uh, when you're dead, you're dead, and that's it. Free will goes out the bottom, out the wall. Um, even if you are a Christian, uh, you know, even if you're a religious person, because um, that will be, I guess, yeah, what I'm going to finally tackle on. Well, if you know, let's say you're a Christian, you're watching this. Um, so you basically have free will to choose God, etc. And then when you go to heaven, you become perfect and you go to heaven, you hang out with God, whatever, while people are burning, whatever. Okay, so you go to heaven. Do you still have free will? Oh, uh, probably not. I mean, maybe not as much. I mean, you don't even have free will here, so whatever. But I mean, uh, you know, you go to heaven and you praise God. I mean, it's like, you know, screw the whole free will thing, you know, because it's, you know, even if we did have free will on earth, it's only what 80 years compared to eternity. That's nothing. You know, that's who cares if we had free will. Um, it, it means nothing. So this whole like crap about God not showing itself because it'll affect free will, which is bogus. Um, you know, it, it just, yeah, who cares? You know, who cares if he, if he went against our free will to get us to become Christians because, Hey, we don't have free will, but even if we did, it's going to be taken away from us. When we're in heaven. Cause you're not, like nobody's good enough to go to heaven, right? Right, Christian? So you have to believe in Jesus. And then when you you know, you go to heaven and then you're shaped into being perfect somehow, however they do that, they put you through a factory or something. Um, but our but our just our beliefs, religion, which have an incredible effect on us, I would say a hundred percent. Um, if if you know, on some people, some people ten percent, whatever. But our belief religion has a huge effect on us. Um but why? why? Why do we believe in this particular God? Well, because we're born into it. But I mean, why not the other God? Because we weren't born in that country. Um, but how come someone like, let's say you're a Christian watching this, and how come someone like me doesn't believe in God? You know, why Why have I chosen to choose evidence over superstition why, instead of you? Why have I chosen that? Well, did I choose it? Why, why do I favor evidence over a Bible? You know, why? You know, well, you would say, well, that's not evidence. It's dubious. You know, God exists, etc. Okay, then why have I, why am I so easily tricked into believing evidence over superstition? And why, ha why are you so great at picking the right God instead of me? You know, why, 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 why that? You know, um, I, you know, why, how come I am so bad at picking evidence and thinking that evolution is true, thinking, you know, that 
you know, the universe is here and that's it. You know, what, why am I so easily tricked into believing that when you are so, you're just perfect at picking the right God? You know, why is that the case? You know, um, out of our control. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, I mean, you know, why, why are you so fearful of what might come after? You know, um, you know, I mean, yeah, another thing, fear, that goes with pain, sort of, you know, fears are out of our control. That is a huge effect in our lives. Text message. You know, assuming there is a God. Okay. But we didn't choose that God. You know, I mean, I would like to choose a God. If you, there is one, like, you know, it has to be a God. I would like to choose it. But why did I choose? Why do I like these particular qualities that we're choosing that God? Back to the start again. Um, you know, I would like to choose, you know, a particular God. Um, you know, so the God we get is out of our control, you know, whether we believe it or not, it's the God we get out of our control, um, what he does out of our control, etc. And little additions, like if we have disabilities, you can't walk, etc. out of our control has a huge effect on us, etc. 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 Um, so yeah, I mean, have I pretty much nipped this one in the bud? I mean, fuck, like, where is the free will? Honestly, where is the free will? Oh, are you are you thinking that XXR23 you chose to make this video? Oh, well, no. Nah. I mean, why did w once again back to the evidence over whatever thing? Why did I? Why do I think that this is a good idea? And why am I sharing it with you? Because I think it's a good idea. But why do I think it's a good? Because it makes sense to me. Why does it make sense to me? Fuck. Shut up. <laughs> um, you know. I mean, yeah. I mean, in a sense, did I choose to make this video? Sure. You know. But why did I hold it off for a week? Because I'm fucking lazy. Why am I not doing it on camera? Because I'm camera shy. Why didn't I... Why am I camera shy in the first place, you know? Um, why didn't I make this video more high quality instead of just a picture? I don't know. I'm fucking lazy. Why am I lazy? I wish I wasn't lazy. I wish somebody would stop texting me. That's also out of my control. So where is the free will? Honestly, where is the free will in this? I don't see it, you know, I I mean, maybe somewhere, someplace, in the mystical moon of, I don't fucking know, maybe, honestly, maybe, but, um, you know, I think the jury is out, and I think, I think it's time for free will to be proven, not the other way around, um, I, th I think it's really on, it, on the other side of the table, you know, um, you know, you watch Sam Harris, there's a lot of predestination things you can, you know, I, I'm not even going that, you know, predestination, all these things, just, just basic common shit. It just, why do we like these things? And why, you know, it, it, everything just has a huge effect on us, you know, but, but why do we have this idea of free will? You know, that, that's an interesting question. And, and I, I, I like to take it at face value, you know, just, you just assume, well, of course I free will. I look at me, move my hand. I'm choosing to move my hand. You know, I'm choosing to do this. I'm flipping a pen. You know, you might be able to hear in the video, you know, I'm just choosing to do that. And we just go, well, yeah, of course we have free will. Of course I chose that. No one else was controlling me as far as I know, you know, no one else was controlling me and I chose to do it. I understand that. Um, also, um, I, I think there's sort of a fear, um, that comes with it. Um, obviously I, I want to think for the most part, people just take it at face value. Of course I free will cause I can move things and you know, I'm, I'm choosing it, but it's also like a fear thing. Um, cause, cause the bottom line, the world where we, where we live, you know, what we do and everything, it's scary. You know, it's, it's scary. And that's, that's probably part of the reason why we believe in gods. It's, it, it makes, it makes the world seem safer, you know, and, and the scariest thing of all is is being out of control not having control you know i mean wouldn't we like to be able to control every aspect of our lives just the people we are with the the money we have every, we'd like to control it and if if we, if we admit to ourselves we just don't have like something like free will it's scary you know it's it's out of our control and, you know, and that's, I mean, that's it, you know. So if you have anything to add, take away, or think that free will actually exists or in some way or whatever, leave a comment below. Uh, I love you. Uh, I'm XSR23. Um, and I didn't choose to make this video. It was God. <laughs>